Good morning. My name is Dominic Prieto, and my research question that I came up to is to what extent does the improvement of artificial intelligence impact humanity as we develop in the next 15 years? The claim that I came to is the improvement of AI positively impacts humanity and will be replacing millions of jobs in the next 15 years. As you can see on this chart, 51% of customers say that their expectations of companies are now being influenced by AI. The solution to my claim is AI has evolved throughout the last couple of years, which means that soon enough humans will, be, will have robotic systems doing their work for them. As you can see on this chart here, in the year 2015, the best AI system passed human performance in all of jobs. The limitations. The robot, the robot could malfunction. If the robot has some type of malfunction while doing its job, they can ruin whatever they are working on. There are some nights where I would see the robots throwing pieces of the cars across the room, a quote from Elon Musk. There was a heart surgery performed on a nine-year-old girl from a robot that would have, what would have happened if that robot had a dysfunction during the surgery. The next limitation is the unemployment rate would rise. The unemployment, unemployment rate would rise because robots and co computers can get things done in a faster amount of time and they can work longer hours than humans can. As you can see on this chart here, share of US jobs requiring AI skills, this shows how AI has evolved throughout the last couple of years. As stated by Mark Montgomery in the urban transformation of the developing world, he claims that Asia or developing nations are improving their technology sometimes, sometime in the next 20 to 30 years. Developing countries like Asia and Africa are likely to cross a historic threshold joining Latin America and having a majority of urban residents, as well as start using more technology, technological equipment such as AI. As said by Edward Kessler in Social Media and the Movement of Ideas, he says how they improve social media to go to one-to-one, one-to-many, -one, one and many-to-many. -many. This can make AI more known because social media is such a big impact on life. Once the word goes around, then soon enough, the whole world can get to know what is going on about certain places. Ways AI could change, could change the way we live. Criminal justice. The next industry disrupted by artificial intelligence is the criminal justice system. Advancement in facial recognition are making the fingerprint system look out of date. Transportation. Uber and Lyft are both working on self-driving technology. Waymo, formerly the Google self-driving car project, recently reached 5 million miles driven on public roads. Tesla has already been most have Tesla has already been most other competitors to market its autopilot feature. Tesla now has over 300 million miles driven on autopilot and all Tesla vehicles today are one software update away from self-driving capability. As you can see here in the year 2020, at least 10 million cars should be having self-driving features such as Tesla's. The next way we could change the way we live is precision farming. AI is driving efficiency in our current farming methods to increase production and reduce wastage without negatively affecting the environment. Systems such as the John Deere's Auto Track enables huge machines to plant crops in a far more uniform and accurate way and can reduce overlap in agricultural processes such as tilling, planting, and fertilizing which in return reduces the chemicals and increases productivity. My counterclaim is if AI takes over a lot of the job percentages, then they will leave all of those people unemployed. McKinsey reckons that depending upon various scenarios, automation will displace between 400 and 800 million jobs by 2030, requiring as many as 375 million people to switch job category, categories entirely. If AI takes over a lot of the job percentages, then they will leave all of those people unemployed. Other possible solutions. Teach the employees how to operate the machines. By teaching employees how to operate and work the machines, you won't have to fire as many people. In order to have a productive future, many experts suggest humans and robots need to work alongside each other. Robots need to do jobs that can be automated, and humans need to do the jobs that require a personal or creative touch. They are making laws so that AI do not take over all of the jobs. 
They can make laws so, it's, so AI cannot take over every job opportunity and protect those industries. AI would not be able to take over professional sports or taking care of people because robots do not have feelings such as humans. My conclusion. Faster production and longer hours to work. With the robots in the factories, there will be less injuries with their employee, employees. In conclusion, having robots do our work for us will benefit us in many different ways. There are some limitations to having them do our things, but overall, the future will surprise us all. Thank you. What are your questions? All right, two questions I have for you. First up, uh, what evidence did you gather that you didn't use, and then why didn't you use it? I gathered a lot of evidence, like towards my claim about how, for, Keep going. for example, like in my claim, I talked about how it will replace a lot of jobs, but like I was trying to go for the positive aspect, so I didn't want to use all of that, so I didn't want to look like the negative aspect of replacing all those jobs. All right, and what advice would you have for other researchers who consider this topic? I would tell them, make like do a lot of research, make sure you back it up like all your research and find a lot of graphs to like help represent your data as well. Done, brother.